the stairway you'll see something certain to tell you confusion has its cause My memories of festivals growing up, I really wanted to go to so many. I grew up near Glastonbury, watching it on TV every year. Um, and then when I was 18, I got booked to play. I never really used to go to festivals. I kind of just watched Spreading the Leads on, on TV. And I would always watch it and just be like, I need to be on stage one day. But I didn't know how, I didn't know when. The first festival I was going to, my brother, he was going to the festival. I wasn't old enough, so I wasn't allowed to go. And uh, I decided oh, I'd, I'd do it anyways. People are in, uh, like, I think you like, unique states of mind when they're at festivals. When you do a show in a city, like, you always get a, a slight feel that this is just a part of their day. But at a festival, you know, they're totally free, you know? You've got a crowd at festivals who are all ready for the kind of to have a relationship with the band, really, and there to be a connection and ready to lose their inhibitions. Barn on the Farm. Barn on the Farm has really created this kind of magical little fairy garden of lovely music and people who want to enjoy it and people who want to be creative and watch people being creative and soak it up. Collaborating is so special. A lot of people forget the, the reason why you make music in the first place. So it's like, cool, you do that, I do this, and if we put it together, it might be amazing. My body's been a mess, but I miss your ginger hair and the way you like to dress. Usually like, on the Saturday night or something, we'll, we'll go and take the guitars out into the campsite and get a few people around. We had these people who'd actually played here who were just like, they'd heard it from over at this campsite and they'd walked back over and they're like, we need to join in. Everyone on the lineup doesn't just turn up and play their set and go, everyone becomes friends. I meet people every year here and it's created a community. Thank you. We just end up just sitting there singing songs every night. It's um, kind of tribal. No nudity, I wish, but hear some people's new songs, what the people are working on, and, and just sing Kumbaya without the, you know, explicit bits. The rain starts falling when you're calling me, why can't you see? I'm diving under water just to breathe. And I'm feeling lonely, I'm feeling blue, won't you please give me? something Cause I don't believe in your sweet nothing I feel your arms around me You say you feel love but oh, oh I feel alone And you think you understand me but We've played some amazing shows here. There's an opportunity to make it your own, which is
which is something that I feel like I've been able to do. And we've just sort of formed this big family. We've, we've yeah. formed a funny friendship group that come every year and we come back together and it's like, like so we've never like been a apart. It's like a barn on the farm really reunion. I applied for volunteering. I was 16 when I first started. Now I manage all the dressing rooms, manage the artists in the dressing rooms. None of us are professionals in what we do. It's literally just friends on the farm. Because you invited me the first year and I had yeah. no idea who any of these people were. <laughs> and then I show up and I'm in love with every single person who played. They seem to be really open-minded with music and stuff. I think it's just a festival that stays true, true to its roots and still expands and still puts on great acts. What I really liked about it was the support of new artists. And there's not many festivals that take that sort of punt on new artists. It's a real honor to be headlining Barn on the Farm tonight. And particularly when it's like an evening like this, it's just beautiful. Here I keep going.